Sample problem. Write the symbol and calculate the molar enthalpy of combustion for the substance that reacts with oxygen. So what we have here is the uh, change in enthalpy based on this entire reaction. And because it's on this side, we know that this is exothermic. Right? So it's exothermic, but now we want it to be the molar enthalpy so we want one mole but if we look at it we have four moles of ammonia reacting with seven moles of oxygen to form four moles of this gas nitrogen dioxide and six moles of um of water vapor right so none of them are represented of one mole so now the thing is this question says combustion so what is combusting in this equation this is what's combusting however we have four moles, right? And this value here is based on four moles. So we want the molar enthalpy. This is not the molar enthalpy. This is the delta H. This is the change in enthalpy. We want the change in enthalpy based on a combustion reaction. And based on a combustion reaction, we are always referring to this in terms of one mole. So to get one mole, we're gonna divide this by four, which means if we do that to this, we're gonna divide this value here also by four. And what are we going to get? Well, we're gonna get a change, and let me add, erase some of this. We are gonna get a change in molar enthalpy based on a combustion reaction and we're going to get a value of minus 283.6 kilojoules per mole right because we're talking about one mole so for every mole of ammonia that we are using we are giving off this amount of heat now, because we are giving off, we're using, uh, we're combusting four moles of ammonia, notice we are, it is releasing so much more heat. Let's look at the uh, next uh, sample problem here. We've got two moles of nitrogen combusting uh, in the presence of oxygen gas, and it is absorbing 163.2 kilojoules to form two moles of dinitrogen oxide gas. So because this value is on this side, we know that this reaction is considered endothermic. But now, our, this value, this, uh, this delta H right, that we have is based on two moles of N2 that is combusting. We want it based on one mole. Right? We want it based on one mole. So two moles will form 163.2 kilojoules. So one mole, we're going to divide this by two to get the following value. We're going to get a delta H of combustion right because we're asked for the molar enthalpy that will be 81.6 kilojoules per mole of n2 and again if this one here is of nh3 because that's the one that we're trying to find one mole of so notice it's a positive value because it is considered endothermic